a new day, a new project, in fact, a new experiment. You see, I got here a condenser microphone, that's Behringer B1. It's a pretty world model, but still running good. Now I'm recording through this microphone. And that's why I bought this, because I think the old, or let's say the Prime series, are way better than everything what's happening today in the market. So this uh, Behringer B1, a single diaphragm condenser microphone, the gold spotted large diaphragm studio condenser microphone made by Behringer in China. Okay, let me have some specification. It's a condenser, one inch single diaphragm pressure gradient, it have a cardioid polar pattern and uh, XLR connected, the frequency range is 20 Hz to 20 kHz, we have a level attenuation, 10 decibels, a low cut filter and maximum CPL at 1 kHz is 138 dB, 148 with uh, the 10 decibel attenuator, it have a load impedance and nominal impedance of 50 ohms, and the load impedance is more than one kilo. It needs, of course, a supply voltage of uh, 48 volts and a current of three milliamps. I got me also a microphone stand, this kind of size of microphone stand. It's very solid because the microphone is heavy. That's the shock mount because it's prone to artifacts, you know, heating and all this kind of low frequency vibration. We have a switch over there with three positions. We have a low cut. On the right, in the middle, it's perfect linearity, and then it's 10 decibel attenuation on the left. Low cut filter, it's uh, really good when uh, the sound is too boomy or you are too close to very powerful sources with deep bass, you know, like let's say a kick drum, maybe. Quality of the fabrication, it's really great. It feels like really metal in your hand, and it's heavy because it's heavy. It's not faking with sand or anything else stones sometimes okay so the microphone have 457 grams i was really curious to see about because like i said you, you can really feel the weight there is the classic uh, xlr connection that should be gold uh, spotted and something the next uh, thing i want to do is to open it up because i'm really curious about what's inside there and let's see the guts of this microphone to open it up it's very easy, so we have a piece, a part, it needs to be screwed off from the bottom. It's very simple, mechanically done. And that's it, it's very heavy, it's massive metal. And that it's also metal, I think it's brass covered with nickel or something. And there we are. We have one board made by a, a factory in China and that is 767 Audio Company Limited or something like this and the other board is the other side of the microphone there we are same uh, 767 Audio Company Limited I don't know about the parts, how good they are, quality or something, but so far it looks pristine. All the screws have the paint on it, so that means nobody tried to take it off or anything. But I'll do, of course. We had three Philips screws so far. I think that should be enough to have the mesh off also and there we are so that's the piece of resistance in there that's the card the microphone itself the condenser microphone and let's see about the diameter of this one it's looking good it's pretty clean a little bit of dust but i'm not touching that you don't need to clean it just let it be now i want to measure with my caliper the condenser microphone and we have like 34.2 millimeters and that's why I call one uh, inch or, 
and let's see the inside and that's around 27 millimeters and this is a big diaphragm uh, condenser microphone you know that I was afraid I was a little bit afraid and concerned about buying this one because there are a lot of fakes on the market with a small electric microphone inside there so they are sold like big diaphragm or something anyway so this is the real stuff with the serial numbers and all this uh, the boards are as you can see in the photos very nice done and everything looks pristine and uh, professional there is a schematic on the internet uh, i'm not sure how good is it because it's reverse engineered so this uh, the schematic is not original anyway the mesh it's really nice there is another thin one inside it's double mesh in fact really good quality nickel plated so it's not paint or anything real metal on real metal okay so let's have the let's have the screws back let's have some tests first i'm gonna have some records with uh, my trusty dynamic microphone and that's um, electro voice 767 because i want to compare this one with uh, with b1 of course there are two kind two different kind of microphones so that's a kind of proximity test let me have like uh, i don't know 15 centimeters yeah right 15 centimeters electro voice dynamic and the 767 15 centimeters and now let's have a like uh, 10 centimeters here here we go 10 centimeters proximity test voice test for and the 767 and of course very close you know this is a vocal microphone and that's the way i'm using it usually and uh, this is the normal voice volume and now uh, let me try to play my acoustic guitar with this microphone Now let me have a uh, voice and guitar. Oh, oh, oh. So mama take this bench of me Cause I can't use it anymore It's coming down Feels like I'm knocking on heaven's door Yeah, yeah, yeah And here I have a B1 Just the voice, proximity test Around 15 centimeter, like 6 inches and that's the test for big diaphragm condenser microphone Behringer B1. Okay, let me go a little bit closer, like four inch, ten centimeters, like this. And uh, it's a little bit uh, closer, of course, and we have more deep uh, voice bass voices here and the low cut filter it's on i'll take it out so now the microphone it's linear now we have the microphone in pure linear condition so it's no low cut or anything i think the sound is really great I can hear the, the, the air, the breathing, and I can even hear the, 
the deep voice in uh, in my headphones so i think it's absolutely okay and the next test of course it's uh, using my acoustic guitar and then acoustic and voice Okay, so let's have a let's have a test uh, guitar and vocals a little bit. So the microphone is a little bit higher, almost. Okay. So mama, take this badge of me. I can't hit it anymore. And now let's have the low pass filter. So mama take this badge of me. I can't, I can't use it anymore. Okay, so I think uh, that's all for today. This is uh, Behringer B1 condenser microphone. I hope uh, this is useful. If you have any question, please uh, like, please subscribe, and uh, I'll be very happy to answer. And uh, also, if you need any extra tests or anything, just let me know. Thank you for now. See you soon with some other projects. Don't forget to have fun and be safe. Bye-bye. Um,